The University of Toronto Varsity Blues football team faced the Waterloo Warriors Saturday afternoon at Varsity Stadium. U of T led 3-0 early in the first quarter, but the Warriors went ahead when Jamie Cook hit Blair McKay, and he launched the ball to Adam Felonzak in the end zone. Toronto responded on the next drive as Lucas Gavick capped off a six-play, 73-yard drive with a 25-yard rushing TD. In the second quarter, teams were tied at 10 apiece. Kevin Bradfield caught a beautiful pass from Simon Nassar, and that set up a two-yard rushing major from Gavick. 17-10 for the Varsity Blues. On Toronto's next drive, Levi Noel made a nice grab for a long 69-yard gain, which broke U of T's team record for highest net offense in a season. That set up a two-yard rushing TD from Marcus Hobbs. Toronto's defense got in on the action as JJ Lamb laid out Waterloo's Paul Cecile. Late in the first half, Gavitt came up with two rushes of 32 and 37 yards to set up another two-yard score from Hobbs. The Blues led 37-10 at halftime. Fourth-year veteran Boris Isakoff added two touchdown receptions in the third quarter. First, a 36-yard catch from Nassar, and then a 25-yard reception from Chris Yugovich. The Blues then ran the ball down the field, setting up a one-yard rushing touchdown for fifth-year fullback Dylan Howes, his first career touchdown in his last game in the blue and white. The Varsity Blues closed out their final game of the season with a 61-13 win. I didn't notice it until I went out through the tunnel, then I realized it was kind of my last time going out, my last time I'm going to be on the field. So It kind of didn't hit me till right off, before kickoff, when we were standing in the tunnel, and that kind of got a little emotional. Me and Weedy looked to each other and said, like, this is it. So it was nice to go out on a big note, though. In today's game, I thought we executed all three areas of the game, special teams, offense, and defense. On the back of these seniors is where this program is rebuild is happening. It happened on their back, but those guys were a huge part of that. So what they've given this program is invaluable. The next steps are not easier, but they're going to be less hard because of their contribution.